Greetings Mac Maniacs, my name is TTB and this is German Mac Engineering. Today guys it is time once more to bring out the big guns, the Fafnir RAF, not of Khan but of TTB. Look at this beautiful golden glistering monster of the battlefield and this thing, let me tell you guys, this thing doesn't hit like a truck, this thing hits like a whole truck column. Goss Rifle. SRMs, lasers, full-blown alpha strike that you can all shoot at the same time and completely overwhelm the enemy short range with insane amounts of firepower that the enemy won't be prepared for. Let's go ahead and have a look at the build here. The basis is going to be a standard engine 310. We've got a heavy gauss rifle in the right torso. We've got SRM-6 launchers in one arm on the right, one arm on the left. And of course, in the left torso times two. And then we have a total of five medium lasers, one on the right arm, one in the head, two in the left torso, and one in the left arm. CT, of course, is going to have the Fafnir Special Guardian ECM, and that completes our mech. And now look at the firepower down there. 101.5. The, the damage 101, if you want to. That is this build. And to make it all happen, I had to lower the head armor a little bit and the leg armor a little bit. But overall, we're doing very well. 155 armor CT and side torso close to 100. Now, guys, the limited factor here is the heavy gauss rifle since it has the highest cooldown. But with the skill tree I chose, you can basically shoot this about every 4 seconds. So, a little bit of math. 12 seconds, 300 damage. In 12 seconds, you can kill any mech on the field, especially the closer they are, the more in danger they are. It's a beautiful build. Now, do take note, guys, we only have 3 tons of ammo for the Heavy Gauss, and we only have 4 tons of ammo total for the SRM-6s. So, if you feel that you are ammo-starved, go back to normal SRM-6 launchers, ditch the Artemis, and just get a little bit more ammo. Now for the skill tree guys, I wanted to make sure that we keep the fear factor high. I wanted to be able to shoot three consecutive alpha strikes without cool shot and that is exactly what we can do even on a hot map like Caustic Valley and we do it like this. For the firepower tree we go down the left hand side to get missile rack as well as high explosive 1 and 2 and missile spread 1 node. Then we go to the right hand side, we get gauss charge 1 and 2 and magazine capacity 1 and 2. Jumping into the survival tree, we take the left side of the survival tree for maximum armor as well as two additional skeletal density nodes because we just had the skill points here. If you don't take those, they will come in handy later on. First uh, operations tree, full operations tree for maximum heat containment and maximum cool run. Then we go into the sensors tree, mandatory of course, enhanced ECM 1 and 2, and then we have seismic 1 and 2 and 4 nodes of radar derp. And remember those two nodes in skeletal density, you can also put them into radar derp, but I felt that... That, that extra 20% is not going to do much, but 7% more total skill density is going to help my mech in the long run and might keep me alive for one more shot, so that's why I chose to put those into tankiness. And then last but not least, auxiliary, I chose to go with double cool shot, cool shot cooldown, and an enhanced consumable slot that we can use, for example, for an artillery strike or for a UAV, and that should keep us cool enough and allow us to deliver our payload towards the enemy. And that is going to be it. Can you imagine just having this thing appear in front of you and just alpha striking you in the face and your CT turns from no damage to red armor in one shot in an assault mech? <laughs> That's what the enemy will see, and I will see you in the dropship. Let's see how this bad boy runs. It's gonna be fun! Welcome to the big city, boys! We are in Solaris City, we have moved Target towards the center of the map. The enemy team is in Echo 4 to our right-hand side, and some of my teammates are already pushing towards Echo 5 to try and flank them. And I'm going to move towards the center and try to be, well, the tip of the spear! The blunt end of the stick of which we uh, which we are using to whack the enemy. Uh, long story short, I'm just gonna go into their flanks and kill them. I think that's the best explanation I can give. I'm just gonna get closer here a little bit, and I'm just gonna use my heavy gauss rifle if I wanna shoot these guys right now. I don't wanna use my lasers to give my way my position. But as I say this, my teammate shoots MRMs, and it's like, yeah. That is not very stealthy anymore, but that's okay. We're a little bit out of range for the target to the right-hand side, but look at that! We've got somebody coming for us, and he's coming straight for us. That's an enemy Cyclops, and there, now you see it. Come up, and now you don't. Easy! You cannot push into this Fafnir, guys. Not 
alone. Don't do it. It is very, very dangerous. Okay, let's go in onto the enemy hunchback here. He is in range for our lasers and SRM-6s, but uh, I'm kind of hesitant to shoot those because he is in cover. But what I can do is use lasers and... Oh, yeah, you know what? It's okay. We just shoot a little bit into the enemy and some of the shots into the pillar. It's all right. Uh, the problem is there's something big around the corner, so let's fall back a little bit, just a tad bit, and be ready to receive the Very enemy suspect. and uh, say hi to them in enemy a very, very Fafnirish way. And the salt bag is coming in now. Oh, there we go. One and a two. Nice alpha strike to his side torso. That should be open now. There's an enemy. Warhammer. We shoot him in the back. One, two, three, and he's gone. That's the firepower of this build. Straight through CT. Same thing goes for the Dire Whale, and now we go in onto his buddy. Once more, ah, never mind, we got around the corner. That's alright though. Five kills over three, things are looking good for us so far and I can push in towards my team and help them clean up this stuff. I wasn't expecting to kill the Dire Whale so quickly, but he must have been like something like Open CT already and of course if we then follow up with the SRMs and the medium lasers, you're just gonna melt through him. Okay, some enemies are sitting on our base uh, thinking that they might be able to cap it, which in reality, you almost never are, so don't try it, guys. It's just stupid. Uh, but for some reason, people keep trying it. And uh, some of the other guys might still be around in uh, the uh, Echo 5 Fox 5 area towards the enemy base. There are five targets left. And what's happening right now is, as you can see, the team is splitting apart. And I don't like that. If you're going back with a few guys, you should get back with all the guys and not split up because the match is sufficiently close that if um, if we make too many mistakes, uh, we have a problem. So, uh, right now, also the next problem that you will see is since I am the slowest member of the team, I am going to be left alone. Yes, I am in the middle in between my teammates, but I am basically left alone at this point. So. I'm seeing that um, our base acquired. should be covered, but the guys in Echo 4 are gonna need help. So uh, let's go ahead and try New and support them a little acquired. bit. I see there's a piranha coming from my teammates. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type in to my mates that I'm gonna be in Delta 4 and that they should join me. Target because I see spotted. three enemy targets there. And at this point, two of my own guys, and it might just be one in a few seconds. So um, long story short, for them to be that far forward is a mistake. And I am going back towards them to try and save them if I can. Well, let's see what's going on here on the left-hand side. We've got a locust coming in. I don't know where the piranha is. There is a piranha. There we go. Going and taking away the leg. Pylons being null on shots on functions. There we go. That's a dead fish. That's how you throw out <laughs> your uh, hook for a little bit of fishing. Target acquired. Fafnir style. Okay, one enemy left on the field right now. He is next to our base, so my teammates will take him out presently, and that is going to be the end of the match. And we were we were a nice little Fafnir. We only killed a full lance. We didn't kill half the enemy team or more. No, no. A full lance, that is that is enough to satiate our hunger. Four killing blows, three assists, two solo kills, three kill most damage dealt, 606 damage done, and 12 components taken out. And guys, if you enjoy this content, go ahead, check out my Patreon page, become an active supporter and a member of Team TTB, and never ever turn your back to this mech because it's going to kill you instantly. Beautiful, beautiful mech. Okay, switching the scenes here over now towards Tomlin Desert, and uh, we're marching towards the center to try and fight for Theta. It is a uh, capture and hold the flags kind of deal going on here. And I'm noticing something. I'm looking on the map and I go like, hmm, there's something missing. Ah, uh, right. I've got a full lance, or almost a full lance. Three guys, and we're not we talking light mechs, we're talking mediums sigma. and heavies, going for Sigma. As a group. Airstrike so I'm asking them, why do you guys go for Sigma? Is, is there a party there? Free cookies or anything? Like, is there, is there something I don't know? Like, maybe some, some secret sort of tactics uh, set that I'm not aware of. But uh, we'll see what they say. For now, let's go ahead and get out of here because the enemy team has already has uh, taken possession of that ridge and we're eating an artillery strike presently. So let's keep on moving uh, towards the Echo 6 area. Okay, teammate says, just staying together. Okay. Um, salt levels inside TTB are rising right now. Um, but... 
for now, let's just go ahead and continue our push and hopefully some teammates will join me and then we can do some good from over there. Trying to hit here with the SRM-6s, but unfortunately I didn't get them into target. The enemy was just a little bit too far away. Since we don't have uh, an insane amount of range nodes right now, it's really hard to get them into target over 288 meters. Uh, now my teammates are still far in the boonies and uh, I'm saying now, okay, you are staying together behind our own lines. At match start. Bullshit. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Um, again, like, it's the right idea. Stick together as a team, but not in the boonies where you can't be of any help to anybody. Okay, speaking of anybody, uh, any help to anybody, uh, with all the talking I've done, I've now maneuvered myself into a kind of a binder. I've got an annihilator, a marauder, Daka, and... Uh, a cougar to deal with here and uh, apparently these guys like me very much um, let's just go ahead and delete the light back make sure that we, if we die we die taking one guy with us uh, let's go for the marauder next go into his CT open that up teammate takes the kill here and the enemy annihilator shuts down there's only one thing I can do right now one thing to save my life and we do it cockpit kill Whew, and now I have to shut down my mech because it's overheating and cooking itself, but holy hell, that was close. Now we are red CT, right side torso, red armor front, right side torso, red armor back side torso. Um, this mech is basically legs and arms right now, but that doesn't matter. What matters is we still have all our fighting capabilities, so we can still keep this fight going and looking at the uh, 7 to 5 uh, score range right now, I would say we need to make sure that we at least we get, get another okay. kill. There's a Vector Eagle coming again and there is... Oh! Somebody going with Flamers onto my teammate, which is perfect for me because that means he's not going to look at me and that means I can get a lot of nice hits into the target here and with one more we should be able to take him out through the still remaining sighted torso. There we go, Ripperoni Jabberoni. Okay. Let's try and find another target. There's something big duck hanging around the corner, and it is, in fact, a mauler. And I'm dying here, but do take note, guys. A, I took his side torso, and since the guy was light fusion engine, it cooked him and it killed him. So, we took down yet another assault mech. And the team now secures the final kill. 12 kills over 8 is going to be the final score once they go ahead and capture Fader. Now, guys, let's recap. What did we kill? We took down an Annihilator, took down a Mauler, we basically killed a Marauder, and we murdered the Light Mech. So, all in all, I would say we've killed our fair share of tonnage in the 300 tons area. And uh, once Feder is uncapped here, the match is going to be won. But guys, again, use the right kind of tactics. Group up. Yes, good tactics, but group up to go towards an objective that is meaningful. The meaning of a group is so you can engage the enemy better, not so you can run around on the sidelines of the map and engage from there. Because there's nothing there, there's nothing to engage into. What you're only doing here is depriving your team of needed resources, so stick together at the important objectives. Three killing blows, four assists, two solo kills, three kill most damage dealt, 775 damage done, eight components taken out. And guys, again, if you enjoy this content, head on over to Patreon and see if that's something for you. Join Team TTB. Have a great day.